Yep, Iron Man 3 is absolutely underrated. And this is a movie about Tony Stark. What are you without the armor? Even though this movie features the most armors of any film. But this movie highlights all of Tony Stark's weaknesses and insecurities. And this finale might be the best finale of any of the Iron Man films. Once again, it looks like his armor is failing right there. But that's all a Tony Stark trick. Because Tony Stark's gonna use what's looking like broken armor, but it's all that armor with the individual hover pieces on it. And he slaps it on our boy right here. Jarvis, let's blow suit number 42. And this takes us back to the beginning, where Tony Stark's working on the Mark 42 armor in his Hall of Armor. You know, the one with all the individual pieces that can come from out of nowhere. Each piece can have its own little arc reactor in it. Each piece with its own little flight system. Again, a movie about Tony Stark and his issues outside of the armor, and yet we get tons of armor. Also, hang around for the next video because the poster for Iron Man 3, I mean, there's a couple posters, but this one in particular, it's easily in my top five movie posters of the entire MCU. I'll do a video on this in like 20 minutes, but I want to hear from you. Iron Man 3, underrated or overrated?